a dangerous enemy. But his strength lies not only in the nuclear weapons with which he threatens the whole world, but also in cutting-edge developments in tactical weaponry. Most modern Russian combat systems have Soviet roots. The USSR during its time could spend up to 15% of its GDP on the military-industrial complex. These investments were so colossal that the development of Russian weaponry is still influenced by them today. The Sam Tor is one of the most successful Soviet developments. The first exemplars appeared in the early 80s. The modern improved version of the Tor M2 has been put into service quite recently. The Tor M2 air defense system is recognized by NATO analysts as an extremely effective weapon. What is the secret of its effectiveness? After several weeks of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, it has already become possible to toss aside the advertising posters and get a good insight into the real advantages and disadvantages of these weapons. NATO generals are also closely following the successes and failures of Russian weapons. So, the autonomous self-propelled air defense system, Tor M2, is designed to cover troops and facilities from air attacks. The genius of its design concept lies in the fact that the means of tracking and detection, the communication system and the missile armaments are placed on the same chassis. The gyro-stabilizing platform of the SAM Tor M2 can be placed on a wheeled or track chassis. It has a power reserve of 310 miles. Its maximum travel speed is 50 miles per hour. Its crew size, three people, driver included. The small number of crew members is explained by the high level of automation underlying the detection and tracking equipment. TOR protects not only from enemy aircraft, helicopters and UAVs, but also from guided bombs and cruise missiles, including from hits when maneuvering against precision-guided munitions. No wonder the TOR M2 air defense system held cover of the sky during the Olympics in Sochi. A better defender against attacks with unconventional methods cannot be found. You are now about to understand why. Missiles in the transport and launch container are always ready for launch. The moment from when the target is detected to discharge takes between 3.5 to 10 seconds. No anti-aircraft missile in the world has such specs. The ammunition consists of 16 9M338 guided missiles, adapted to destroy small-sized, intensely maneuvering targets. Working on the creation of the 9M338 rocket took 15 years. Therefore, it deserves special attention. Unlike missiles of previous generations, more modern missiles have a lower mass and smaller dimensions. Therefore, the ammunition load was able to be doubled from 8 missiles to 16. When creating the new rocket, the developers abandoned large bearing airfoils. The 9M338 rocket received a miniature fixed front tail unit and four rotary aerodynamic rudders in the tail section. This was enough for active maneuvering at speeds up to 3,280 feet per second. The reduction in the size of the rocket led to a smaller warhead. For the destruction of a fragile drone, this is not a critical issue. But using a small charge, it becomes extremely difficult to destroy a targeted guided bomb or cruise missile. Bombs tend to have very thick bodies. Even two direct missile hits do not guarantee their destruction. What options does that lead? The developers have focused on surgical accuracy. The Tor M2 SAM missile aims not just at the body of the bomb, but specifically at its hardware unit. As a result of the hit, the bomb loses control and does not reach its target. If the target is a cruise missile, then there is an additional complication. The cruise missile is able to fly and actively maneuver at low altitude, so this is a difficult target. After all, Tor missiles do not have their own homing system. However, Tor finds a way to manage here too. Why do light missiles Tor M2 have such accuracy? The secret is simple. After locking onto the target and ejecting its missile, the airborne detection station continues to lock onto the target. Retention is possible due to the high frequency of the tracking locator. The shorter the wavelength, the smaller the error, and the rocket goes exactly to the place where the locator points. The process takes place automatically, so the skill level of the operator is not a limitation here. The Tor M2 air defense system is capable of operating autonomously or as part of an air defense system, covering troops on the battlefield, in stationary positions, or whilst on the march. 
When creating the air defense system, the curb weight was taken into account. The designers sought to lighten the combat vehicle. The maximum weight of the Tor M2 does not exceed 37 tons, on par with the truck. This allows the combat vehicle to move on public roads without the risk of destroying bridges. For the sake of reducing the curb weight, the developers also overhauled the rocket ejection mechanism. In Tor M2, the rocket is discharged from the launcher using lightweight gas generators. The M2 version differs from its predecessors by its improved range and altitude parameters. For example, the maximum range of the updated air defense system has doubled and now stands at 49,000 feet. Its active height was raised to 33,000 feet. Its effectiveness at low altitude was kept the same. This indicator was considered phenomenal in the first model. The Tor M2 is capable of shooting down targets as low as 33 feet above the ground. In this case, the rocket flies along a trajectory that excludes collision with tall objects such as trees or high-rise buildings. The task of the Russian Tor whilst in Ukraine looks something like this. One or two air defense systems on a tracked or wheeled chassis are included in a military column or convoy. The onboard target detection station of the complex does not stop working even on the march. Air objects covered by active and passive interference are detected. Weather, air temperature, and time of day do not affect the operation of the onboard detection station. The Tor M2 air defense system is capable of operating even in the conditions of the Arctic and the far north. Tor simultaneously tracks up to 48 objects in the air. The data is displayed on the operator's screen, on which a television or thermal image is broadcast. Priority targets are determined automatically. The task of the operator is to press fire. The number of simultaneously launched projectiles is up to four units. If the Tor is on the go, then stopping off is not required to launch its missiles. This is the only anti-aircraft missile system in the world that can conduct targeted fire whilst on the move. The probability of an accurate hit is at least 99%. In the first days of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Columns of Russian equipment under the reliable protection of the Tor M2 air defense system rushed to Kyiv. There were no opportunities left for Ukrainian aviation and rocket artillery. However, the correct tactics of the Ukrainian troops saved the situation. Small mobile groups began to destroy Russian equipment with the help of man pads and grenade launchers. You can learn more about this in one of our previous videos. It turned out that the Tor M2 air defense systems are defenseless against portable anti-tank systems. The fact is that Tor is not able to detect targets diving from above an angle of 65 degrees. This cone-shaped funnel above the Tor remains a dead zone or blind spot. And if a rocket manages to fly down from above, then the air defense system has practically no chance of survival. Recall that the Javelin and Enlaw manpads have just such a capability to attack from above. There is one more detail. Since the onboard station continues to lock onto the target for accurate missile guidance, the dead zone of the Tor during such periods increases. If a Tor is attacking an aerial target in a southerly direction, then a man pads shooter can easily attack it from behind or its flank. It is for this reason that many units of the Tor M2 air defense system have been able to be destroyed. Another portion of their number was captured by the Ukrainians. Just counting confirmed captured combat vehicles amounts to 10 units. The cost of just one Tor M2 air defense system is in excess of $25 million. There is only one way to correct this deficiency, to equip the Tor missile with a homing head, either of thermal or radar type. Then the tracking station does not need to be distracted by the task of tracking its missile target. However, the presence of a homing head would increase the length of the rockets by 6 to 8 inches. Ammunition capacity would have to be reduced. In addition, the use of homing systems in a rocket affects their cost, which is also an important factor. But in those areas where drones and aircraft were used against the Tor, the air defense system showed good results. The most successful crew of the Tor M2 air defense system boasts more than 20 UAVs destroyed in the first days of the invasion alone. This is a very high achievement, as it is extremely difficult to fight against drones. For example, air defense with missile defense elements, which the Americans created in Saudi Arabia, cannot guarantee repelling UAV strikes. 
The whole world witnessed how the Houthi drones attacked Saudi Aramco in the city of Jeddah. However, let's come back to Ukraine. Over time, the effectiveness of the Tor M2 air defense system has decreased, even in those areas where there had been successes. The reason lies in another shortcoming of the Russian combat vehicle, which experts have drawn attention to. To install a new ammunition load to the Tor M2, a separate transport loading vehicle equipped with a manipulator is required. The presence of another mechanism in the system makes Tor dependent and not as autonomous as it seems at first glance. Destroying or breaking a loading machine is no more difficult than destroying a conventional truck with a crane. To offset this shortcoming, conditions for manual charging can be created, but such developments are not yet underway. Another way to reduce the dependence of the Tor on the loading mechanism is to increase the ammunition load. Right now, even more compact and cheap ammunition designed to combat drones is being tested. These are planned for use by the Tor M2. Reducing the size will save a lot of space. It will become possible to place four missiles in the launcher instead of one. It will also be possible to combine the latest missiles with previous ammunition options. With the latest missiles, the Tor ammunition load will increase to 64 missiles, a serious increase that will greatly strengthen combat capability, effectiveness, and survivability of the Tor M2 air defense system. It is possible that we will see new missiles in action in the near future. We will be closely monitoring developments of the situation.